Okay, today I'm just going to be doing a quick unboxing of two Sonnet products. We've got the Sonnet Allegro USB-C 4 port PCIe card for my new macro, and we're going to be setting up the Sonnet M.2 4x4 PCIe SSD card. Open this boy up here. In the box, get this nicely wrapped card and the instructions. I'm not going to open the instructions because it's pretty self explanatory. Just opening up the M.2 card first, I'm going to ground myself in the macro here. Let's pull out this beauty. Oops. <laughs> Love it. Sonnet M.2, but 4x4 PCIe card. Four lanes, four PCIe lanes per M.2. It's a 16x16 card. And I believe. Actually, I think you do have to take off the four screws to get to the M.2 slots. Let me go ahead and set that aside, and then we're going to open up the Allegro card. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Just the card and the quick start guide. I'm going to throw the Allegro card in now. To do that, well, step one is actually to remove these things to Apple because I've got it nicely labeled here. Just twist off. Pops right off. I think I'm going to put this directly below the I.O. card. Open around up here. It's going to give us four more USB-C ports because most of my ports were taken by displays. So this card should add a few more. Let me go ahead and just Pop it on in there. Make sure it fits nicely. Now, on our Sonic, on the M.2 card, I'm going to have to grab a screwdriver. In our 4x4 car, we're going to be putting two 1TB 970 EVO Plus drives. And then we'll raid them together and do a speed test on the operating system side. So, because I feel adventurous, I'm going to take off what I think are the four screws that are holding this thing on. Those four screws off. This just pops nicely out of place. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? Uh, I'm just going to open up our instruction manual really quickly to make sure you are in fact required to remove all these screws in order to put it in. And indeed, take out the four on the bottom, take off the five holding the heatsink on. 
can do. That looks like more than five. Oh, I, I see it because those two are not Phillips. reveals the five the four PCIe lanes. So then you have to take off these four little screws. This is a lot of screws. But not, not opposed. People are asking how loud the Mac Pro is. It doesn't really matter to me because you heard that air conditioner just kick on. I got enough servers in here that that air conditioner is going to overpower any sounds the Mac Pro might make. I suppose I didn't need to take all four of those out since I'm only putting two SSDs in. Oh well. Open up our 970s. Slots are labeled. Drive one, I don't know if you can read that. Drive one. We're gonna take our little screw. Now Sonnet was very about which SSDs could be used or which NVMe SSDs could be used with this. They specified that if they have components on both sides, it cannot be used. However, if you look at that, there's a decent amount of space in there. You'd have to strip away some of the uh, heat sink, but it could totally work with dual SSDs or with uh, SSDs with components on both sides. Now we've got our second one terabyte. Drive here. We're just going to slide him into bay two. And we're going to grab our handy dandy Phillips small screw. And screw it right on in. And that doesn't look centered to me, so I'm going to loosen it up. There we go. There we are. Could fill it up, I suppose. But I have room for growth where we are now. So I'm going to put my other two small screws back in. The slots I'm not using. Now, Apple does have a expansion slot utility, which is going to recommend which slots I put it in. And I do not actually, I actually looked at it and I forgot. I feel like slot five was the next slot to be used. I think I read, I saw that on the Mac Rumors forum post about these cards. So I'm going to put it in slot five and if they tell me to move it, I'll move it. Next step, I reinstalled a heat sink that I set down somewhere, so here goes nothing. Line that guy up. We're going to put it in slot 5, which is labeled slot 5. I'll pull 
pull that thing out. I believe that's it. This is a long card. Why is this not going in? Oh, it's locked. Duh. Huh. I don't even remember locking that after I put the piece of the other card in, but apparently I did. Smooth, even push. And she is in. We're going to relock it. I'm going to replace my little outstanding Place our cute little holder. Don't know why Sonnet would not have flipped that a little bit. See how see how it's bowing a little bit here. It's interesting. Making sure it didn't say to remove any of the padding or anything, but it didn't. Awesome. Let's see what that looks like. Beautiful. And these are just OWC holders. Throw the top back on and boot it up. Alrighty, so now we booted it up. You can see we've got our unknown PCI to PCI Gen 3. That's X16. That's our Sonar M.2 4x4 card. And our Allegro USB C X4 Gen 2 card. It automatically set up the bandwidth for me. So Thunderbolt devices are taking up 112% of their allocation. It also says the installed PCI cards are arranged in an optimal configuration. So, open up disk utility. You can see we've got our TC and Sun Evos. All, m most of these drives, these uh, HTST and, and Seagate drives, are through Thunderbolt enclosures. They're not actually inside. The only drive, well, it says that external. Although it thinks the Samsung's are external, so there's that. Let's go ahead and open our <coughs> RAID Assistant. Under RAID 0. On these two Samsung 970 EVO Plus drives. And I did not actually update the firmware on these, which means they worked out of the box, so that's good. OS Extended Journaled. I'm going to be using this a lot for a database server, so I'm just going to leave it at default. I'm going to call it Evo Plus. Create. Success, don't use. Let's grab our disk speed test here. I'll select, select the target drive. We'll go to Evo Plus, open. 5 gig. That 
that is pretty good. Forty nine ten fifty one oh eight. Not terrible. Kinda wanna get it's about twenty five hundred each. Kinda wanna get another one or two. Bump it up a little bit, but I think that should be enough for my for my needs. Just curious if I redo that as a different stripe set it would make much of a difference. bother. So yeah, the uh, Sonic cards work. I'm running Ethernet through one of them, through USB-C, and the drives to the other. Thanks for watching.